Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about, I wasn't going to do a top 5 baits, but I'm going to do a top 6 baits for fall fishing. Alright, I want to start with, they're in random orders, but let's see, I'll just start from like morning to nightfall, if you, I guess if you want to say. Top Toad, first thing in the morning. These Stanley Top Toads are pretty sweet. You can buzz them. They're hollow body, so they'll stop and float if you want to stop them over certain spots or work it super slow, you can. And it's a buzz frog type thing. And I actually will pop it too and make it try to do walk the dog so it's like a regular frog. So this is like one frog and all. It's all you need to buy. And you can find them at like Dick's, Stanley Jigs website. I'll put that in the link in the description. And, uh, but I love these. These were one of my go-to frogs in fall fishing, and they tear it up, especially early in the morning. But I usually can fish with this all day long. All right, now we'll go right here, and uh, this is the Roku by Doomsday Tackle. I like it, the octagon shape, and it has a lot of wiggle when it goes down. If you're doing it weightless, Texas, this is pretty nice. You can wacky rig this thing. You can mojo rig it. Put it on a shaky head. You can do almost any way you want to rig these and they're so universal the stick baits that's why this is one of my fall baits actually one of my all year long baits but use it in the fall guys in the fall I like to stick with like two types of colors probably like um, green pumpkin watermelon red flake and uh, black and blue or like the purple the June bug kind of colors those are my go to colors alright and number three guys it's going to be the regular soft plastic swim bait. Um, I, I don't mind hard swim baits, but I have. I think I catch more fish and bigger fish with the soft plastic ones. And I think it's because it's soft. They want to hold it in their mouth a little bit longer. And uh, you can fish it. I can pop it and make it twitch. And just like with a jerk bait and the soft plastic jerk baits right over there with these, you can twitch it. You can make it do whatever kind of motion you want in the water and this is one of my top fall baits and and from after that uh, I just wanted to tell you guys fall a lot of people say go smaller with baits but I'm one of those guys that like to go bigger in the fall the bigger bass they're looking for a quick easy snack they don't have to follow stuff around and munch on it because the water temps are starting to drop and everything else so they're gonna just find the biggest thing they can to hold them over. So go bigger, go um, go huge. And uh, the second thing is a Doomsday Turtle. I've been fishing with this all summer, and it's a moving bait. You can falls about about moving baits to me. You can move. They're gonna be eating baits up like crazy. So just Texas rig this. Put like a three sixteenths ounce weight, unpegged, on the front of it, and. Uh, and then here I'll show you how I'll rig it real quick with this one. What you're going to do is go through the head just like regular Texas rig. The part of the bottom, the slit is going to be your bottom. I mean you can rig it backwards if you want. It's going to swim almost the same way. Make sure you stay centered or it's going to swim in like weird swirl motions, not a straight swim. But what's funny is I catch a lot of bass when it's <laughs> when it's rigged up not centered. So. I mean, just go out there and experiment. You're going to find your spot you go through, go through the back end, and then you're just going to bury that right under, just like that. And that's pretty much how you work the turtles. But, uh, yeah, you can keep it centered as possible, and uh, so, because it'll swim straight. If you put it to the side a little bit, it'll make like these cool loops and stuff, and go back and forth, and uh, it'll entice his bass strikes too, so. Don't be afraid if you rig it wrong. And uh, what's that? That was number four. Number five is going to be crawls. These little doomsday reaper crawls. They're like three inches, 3.2 inches. These things are sweet on uh, shaky heads. Sorry for that. My cat is like going crazy out there because she's not involved. But these reapers are. Uh, great on shaky heads like they're gonna be small shaky heads small this is where you make your bait a little smaller if you want but what I do is use them as a trailer on a big jig 
and I'll trim that skirt, the skirt right below the hook so them, ten, them appendages hang out really good so you can see those and get the motion of those. And these are I'm using right here is a Stanley jig. And I actually like Stanley jigs. I like the way the heads are shaped and everything and the bristles and the weed guard is nice. But just put it on there. Crawl. Fall season is all about crawls. You're going to catch so many fish on crawls. It's it's awesome, and uh, I think you guys will, if you haven't crawfished, you need to try it this fall. I think you'll enjoy it. They, they hit these things so hard because on a jig, and the crawls are in their natural defense mode, the bass just want to, like, I don't know, they hit it harder, it seems like, when the crawls in the defense mode. And then, uh, that's number five. And last but not least, chatterbaits. Chatterbaits. I leave the skirts on the chatterbaits just like they are. Usually they already come pre-cut here and then have a little longer tail so you don't have to put a trailer. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a swim bait trailer. This is a little easy from Gambler on this one. But I change up the trailers all the time and it gives it a bigger profile. I've preached this in other videos. Use the swim bait trailer on your chatterbaits. It vibrates a little differently. It looks like a little different lure in the water. Gives it a giant profile. It's almost like a swim bait, but it's a blade on the front. And it's a swim jig, I mean, with a bait on the front. And, uh, and I would go as far as putting one of these on there. It's going to make it a little longer. See? It's going to make it like a couple inches longer. Put a bigger swim bait on there. And you're going to get huge, huge fish. If they're in the lakes that you're fishing, they're going to buy this. Chatterbaits. You're going to just reel it steady, um, give it a couple of twitches, slow it down as much as possible. But I'm telling you, chatterbaits during the day and late in the evening, you're going to catch a ton of fish. All these other lures just use all day long during the fall. And you're going to, I think it's going to help you guys out. I like soft plastics more in the fall than hard baits and crankbaits and stuff, but a lot of other people will use crankbaits, which is fine. Um, this is my preference. So, you know, every a fisherman has their different preference of what they catch a lot of fish on. So go out there, listen to other um, fishermen, and try out their stuff too until you find your niche, and then stick with it. But soft plastics is what I love in the fall, and uh, I can't get enough of it. I, I'll usually stock up during the summer when I have the sales and stuff, because I'm going to usually like, go through with so many in the fall. I hope you enjoy this guys and uh, I'll try to get out there and catch me some fish on these fall baits for you guys later on when it hits fall and it gets colder and thanks for watching and go catch some fish.